Well, it appears <clears throat> that we have a solution to our recordings situation for the courses and also, I believe, for joining the class in real time. Um, I suggest that you use Firefox for this. Um, Firefox seems to be the the way to go for some of the Blackboard stuff, so generally Firefox is probably your best solution. Now, if you're on a Macintosh, um, I haven't tested it in Safari, but you can certainly download a copy of Firefox for the Macintosh also. You'll notice there is a link here called Recordings and Live. Um, ignore the one down below. I'll probably delete that later, but um, Recordings and Live just below the syllabus link. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. When you open that up, it opens up this Tools window, and if you'll scroll down a little bit on this tool window, you'll notice down on this left-hand column of tools the Blackboard Collaborate link. Um, I'll go ahead and click on that Blackboard Collaborate link. And this is the normal window that we would see when you access Blackboard Collaborate. If you wanted to join the class in session, the, the class of course meets at 12.45 to 2.50 on Monday and Wednesday. You should be able to join that class session by clicking this button. Um, and if you want to review or view any of the recordings that have been created, then you'll notice down below here we have the recordings tab. So if I click on that recordings tab, it shows a list of the various recordings and we only have the one recording here and the date. Later in the term, when we have many recordings, you may have to uh, change the uh, date range here to see a particular recording if it was back in the past, let's say. So uh, just be aware that uh, this date range tends to be about a month long, um, but usually that suffices, so I wouldn't worry too much about that. Now, when you get into these recordings, if I go ahead and click this button, uh, this link that you see right here, the CIS 120, um, this particular recording situation has a launcher that allows you to view the recording and if you've never downloaded that launcher that's something that you need to do first. Um, so let me go ahead and click on this and you'll see what I mean. So there's the recording and notice that for me it opened up in this window that said open um, the file which is called play.collab and it says open it with the Blackboard Collaborative Launcher. Now, if you've never downloaded that launcher, you need to download that launcher, and it'll <clears throat> it'll pop up with a little option for you to download that launcher the very first time. You notice up here I got this error message, or, or at least a, a little warning, if it doesn't launch automatically, open that meeting.collab file in your downloads folder, and you need this launcher. Now, right here it says, you know, you saw there was a link right there. Let me close that window again. There's this link right here that says if you can't open the file, you need to download the launcher. I'm going to click on that again, and here's this link that says get the launcher, um, and so then I can click that button to download that launcher. Once you've downloaded the launcher, then you should be ready to go to view that video file. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and um, go back and do that again so you can see what that looks like when I actually open the file. So. I'm going to just back up here and uh, go to recordings, uh, hit that recording button. I've already downloaded the launcher. It opens up this window and say open it. Uh, I want to go ahead and do that. So I click the open button and now it's <clears throat> it's downloading um, the application. It's downloading the application first that is kind of attached to the video if you will and it's going to come up and you'll notice various things coming up on my screen. Now this has just opened up full screen on my screen. I'll go ahead and see if I can resize that window. And here's the waiting and there's the recording on my screen and then it just started. <clears throat> Hello everyone in the room. Everyone in the room needs to say welcome to all of our online students. And I, I just hit the pause button down here at the lower lower left of that window. I, want to, I wanted to point out two things to you. One is, right now it's scaled to fit within this little tiny screen right here. And there's a tick box up here and you can click on that. And now it goes full screen. Now depending on the size of your monitor, you see I can now scroll around and see everything in the full view. 
or I can scale it back to just fit within that little window. You also can go to the view menu and say that you don't want to show the sidebar. Now if there's conversations going on in the sidebar with students that maybe are at home, let's say, um, you might want to see those, but I can tick that and it hides the it hides that sidebar. So I actually have more of a window to view the recording. So that's those are just a couple of options that you can play around with. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and uh, close the window and that just closes that recording window and I'm just back in Blackboard again. So if you have questions about this please let me know um, <clears throat> and that's pretty much it and sorry about the screw up on that.